Hey, I'm Rob. I'm Rob. Hey, I'm Rob. Hey, I'm Rob. Alright, so here we have the Cobalt quarter, one and a quarter horsepower trim router. It is new in the box. Arrived today. It's uh, designed specifically with CNC in mind. It has uh, a variable speed dial, has a uh, dust shroud as well as uh, a couple extra things that might be useful when using as a pole router. Um, in the CNC we care about the fact that it has a good power button and variable speed and that the variable speed is actually slow. So it looks like the minimum here is 10,000. So that's pretty comparable to uh, many other routers that are out there. We have a plate. We have a edge guide. We have a vacuum mount and a wrench. That's the wrench comes out the bottom here. We have the So four. CNC. Alright, so, oh look at that, okay so there's a, the variable speed goes from position 1 to 6, and there are half, um, there's indents at halfway, so you can run it in half steps. The power button is actually um, recessed, so it's going to be harder to, to bump it, turn it on and off. Um, so if we're controlling that remotely, that's a good thing. We have the, oh there's a plexi bottom piece for the plunge adapter, plunge adapter, slides off, and it has a, a standard collet, I believe, it comes with an extra collet, that's, oh it does, it does. So we have a vacuum uh, mount, which can be put on here. And we have, in addition to the quarter inch collet that's included, there is a collet right here for eighth inch. So, instead of using a collet adapter to go to eighth inch, we can actually re replace the collet. So that makes it safer because those collet adapters, if not put on really tight, they will loose while you're running, which is never a fun thing. So this is the, the router. It's got a, an 8 foot cable, which should be long enough to put in a CNC and not have to have an extension cord, so that's nice. Okay, that's the kit. That's everything. We have the alternate pla plate, the alternate plate with the instruction manual. There's the edge guide, the plunge adapter, the router itself with the quarter inch and the eighth, eighth inch collet, as well as the the other adapter pieces that help things hook together. So these go on here.
So, this can go in here as an edge guide, and then it can be moved out or flipped around depending on how you're using it. And then these two. So, my use of this piece will likely be without these, but with this. An El Cheapo $40 Amazon piece that has, the thing I like about this one is that it has a clear plunge adapter. And so I typically use this one in, in uh, actual palm routing mode. I rarely put this in a, in a CNC. It is a very inexpensive piece of equipment. It has a continuously uh, variable switch on the, or speed control on the top, which is the whole reason I bought it. I paid extra for the variable part of it, but it's, it's a little smaller than the other ones. It also um, has really bad speed control. So once you set the speed, it'll wander and it changes over time. So this one just gets um, basically following bit duty, typically. I also have a Bauer, which is a Harbor Freight. Um, it's very much um, like the next one that I'll show. It also came with a plunge um, and an edge guide, but it also included an extra set of brushes with it. So each of these you can see are brushed motors. So this one came with an extra set of brushes, so that was kind of nice. So I'll put that, I you can see that stuff with it. The collet on this one is similar to the collet on the Cobalt. The collet on this one is similar to the collet on the Makita. This one right here has typically been um, the one that I use the most, but I haven't. I just got this one, so we'll see how, how that works. It also has continuously variable speed, as does the Bauer. Continuously variable speed. It has the plunge adapter, and it has the larger collet. So the Bauer and the Makita are very, very similar, like shockingly similar. Um, with, and so I use the same set of wrenches to run both of them, and then I have, but these plunge adapters typically don't ever get used. Um, you can see that I have different bits in them, and so I use them for specific purposes. This one, the smaller um, eighth inch bit will cut the wood. The larger quarter inch bit will cut foam, the following bit cuts foam, depending on what I'm doing. And so it'll be interesting to see where this one falls. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these on. We're going to measure the temperature at after five minutes of operation, measure the temperature on the body to see how warm they run. And then we will measure the sound level to see how loud they are. We can see that these two, size-wise, are like almost identical. This one has a little bit of a guard here to guard the button. This one has a little bit of a plastic raise on the back side, but that button is very um, kind of exposed. This one has a plastic cover over the button, which isn't that great. Um, so you can perhaps see these a little bit better here. This one has like the buttons completely recessed. Um, if you look from a look and feel, this one's the heaviest, I think. But they're they're all very similar in terms of size, and for rated speed, they're all very similar, and they're very similar um, in terms of of the shape um, of the top shape is very similar. And they're all brushed. Cobalt weighs three pounds, almost 12 ounces. The Bauer weighs three pounds and two ounces. The El Cheapo router weighs three pounds, one ounce. Probably because it has a shorter cord, but it also has everything else on it. So that's with the plunge adapter and the, the router bit. 
the Makita weighs 3 pounds 10 ounces. All right, here we have the Makita. It's at one. 67, 68. Okay, and here we have the Bauer at number one. 68. About 85, 86. So my number one's about 73, 74. 81, 82. At full power. We're going to run them all for five minutes at the highest speed. Hmm. Cold, cold. Warm, not really, you know, room temperature ish. Okay. <laughs>
So immediately after running, we measure the router body next to the brush. That's where it gets the hottest. So it just depends on where where you're at. It feels warm. It doesn't feel as warm. That's hot. Yeah, so this one's cool. That one's hot. This one's warm. And this one's warm. So this is by far the hottest one. Then this one, that one's cool. And this one is medium. This one's about the same heat as